<gasps> Check it out! We got the cutie kangaroo today. Oh goodness. Oh, and we're just for now starting it on pepper. Here, let everyone know on Clapper that we're ready and we're live. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Who's ready to taco dance? Hey, guys. Happy Tuesday. So what do you think of the kangaroo? Do, do you love it? Is it like super cute kangaroo? I love it. This is the last of our onesies that we haven't worn yet. So I'm excited to share it with you guys today on Taco About It Tuesday. <gasps> Mike! Mike just joined us on Clapper. Love you, dude. How you doing? How you doing? So I'm thinking later in the week, we should get together and color my hair. Although I love it as it fades. I mean, this is an awesome, wicked color. But as the week goes on, it's going to fade more and more. So I'm thinking, should we do like Funky Fresh Friday and get together and touch up my hair color? Do it as a live and hang out and, I don't know, chat about girly stuff. What do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> if that's a thing that you want to do, that's totally a thing that we could do. Oh, hey guys, on Instagram, we got quite a few. We got Utah, number one fan. Hello, Janie. Nice to see you guys. So I figured today, let's start with Bulletproof Coffee. I made a video on Clapper telling everybody whatever food stuff you want to know about, let me know. And Steve commented and said, hey, Dory, can you do that bullet coffee thing again that you did and tell us about that? And I just happen to have hot water. So let's talk about bulletproof coffee. I got my funky keto mug. I love this one. I will tag her in the video as well. You guys can order this mug online if you Love my ketosis is magical mug and I will tag her. So bulletproof coffee just means fat added coffee. So that fat could be butter, it could be coconut oil, it could be MCT oil, it can be ghee, it can be any added fat that you like. I even make a really yummy bacon maple coffee with a bacon fat. So you render your bacon fat and then I add maple flavor extract, a little bit of sweetener bacon salted caramel it's a pity I don't have any bacon fat right now but today I'm going to show you how to do a bulletproof coffee with coconut oil because again we can use any fat of choice I like instant coffee I also do have a French press coffee so we can maybe we'll do a live one time when I show you guys how to use a little French press and I have some really, really nice Texas Parks Outlet coffee. And I'll show you guys how to use the coffee grinder and the little French press. And we'll do a whole day where we do like fancy coffees. <sighs> Who's down for a fancy coffee day? <gasps> I don't know what day we're going to do it. We'll have to discuss it in the comments of some video or another when you guys have time to do it. But I think we should do a whole fancy coffee day where we talk about good coffee and making cool stuff. So this one, we're just going to do a basic, easy, bulletproof coffee. So we're going to start with your instant coffee, however much you like. I'm kind of a weak coffee sort of gal, so I don't put a lot. And then your added fat of choice. So I usually put about a teaspoon of fat in mine, but anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon of fat, because I also put heavy cream and that counts as part of the fat. So we're going to add a teaspoon of coconut oil in there. And then I'm going to add my heavy cream 
And if you're ever curious what I mean by heavy cream, it's 33% whipping cream. So 33, sometimes you can get 35%. The lowest percent of cream you want is an 18%. You want to avoid half and half, and here's why. So according to the label on this, it is zero grams of carbs per tablespoon, but it's actually just a little bit less than one gram of carb. So it's a little bit less that they cannot have to mark it down for one tablespoon. But then once you put a tablespoon in your coffee and you have three or four coffees a day, you are actually getting almost a carb per tablespoon, even though the label says it doesn't. So that's kind of one of the sneaky carb ways that you'll be getting extra carbs in things without realizing it. Because it says it's zero carb, you assume it's zero carb. It does have almost one carb per tablespoon. So when you add it, you're adding those things. Um, things like sauces and um, dips, a lot of them have added carbs and fillers and cornstarch or wheat fillers, and that's where you get the extra carbs from. When you look at your spices and you say, oh my God, Dory, how do spices have so much carbs in them? It's the filler. They either have a corn filler or a wheat filler so that you feel like you're getting more spice for your dollar. They'll fill it with a cheaper product and then that's where the majority of the carbs are coming in in those. So once you have everything mixed, I'm going to show you the secret. Because if you just drink a bulletproof coffee like this, the fat floats on the top and it, it doesn't look nice like it looks creepy I don't know if it can turn it so you guys can see there you go the fat just kind of floats on the top and it looks creepy but what you need is a milk frother this is also why I didn't fill the cup all the way to the top and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna froth it up and it's gonna foam up that fat on the top and it's gonna look like a really pretty latte when you go to a fancy coffee place and you get the nice foam on top of your coffee, that's what the milk frother does. And then instead you get a nice foamy, pretty coffee. And you can add anything to this that you want. This is just a base. So for example, things that you can add. I always keep on hand some Jordan's Skinny Syrups sugar-free syrup. This one's my favorite. It's Irish cream flavor. So I'll put in a little bit of Irish cream and a little bit of vodka, and then I feel like I'm having Bailey's. I have a cinnamon dolce. I have a whole bunch of different flavors. If you guys shop for these locally, I can get them at my local Sobeys. I know in a lot of places in the States, you can get them like at Winners or Marshalls or different discount places. If you order them online, shoot me a message. I do have a discount code to get you 10% off. So if you want to order online, you can get 10% off and I'll give you my code for that and you can save some monies because they're yummy. I, <laughs> I wrangled that code for you guys a couple of years ago and I did it by accident. Um, they first came out with their unicorn flavor and I saw it and I messaged Jordan Skinny Syrup on Instagram and I said, oh my God, I, I am a unicorn too. <laughs> I love you, you are unicorn, I am unicorn too. <laughs> and they said, wow, that's awesome. Would you like a 10% discount code to share with your friends and family and your, your unicorn people? And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> Yes, I do. I like to save the money. That's, I think, one of the best parts about being a unicorn is saving the money. So if you don't want to get the flavored syrups because you don't like sweetener or you don't like that flavor or you don't want to spend money on that, I also use flavoring extract. Um, we're going to do a, first we got to figure out something to call it that's less perfy, but we're going to do a, Explore Dory's flavor box.
episode where I break it down and show you guys all the different flavoring extracts and colors and fun things that this is, this is Dory's magic box. Dory's. Yeah. And again, see, we have to figure out something. <laughs> we have to figure out something to call it that's more appropriate. So give me some time to think about that. Oh, Sika, hello, hello. Oh, the unicorn flavor. I would describe it as like a berry blast, kind of almost cotton candy flavor. So I, yeah, if someone asked me to nail it down, I would say it tastes like um, mixed berry cotton candy. It's got a very, it's definitely very sweet flavor. I don't use it for coffees, but I use it for things like whipped creams, icings, desserts, uh, jellos, stuff like that. It's really, really yummy with vodka and sparkling soda or sparkling water or club soda. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, Crystal Spangle Art. How's your day, baby girl? How's your day? Yeah. Oh, Sika, if you have never eaten a unicorn, I'll tell you what. Go to my YouTube channel, which is Colorful Keto with Dory. And then at the end of that, type in unicorn meatloaf and see what comes up. I have more than one unicorn meatloaf recipe. I take the meat and I add food coloring and then it looks like a unicorn. I have one where I made it all swirly. There's ones where you can make uh, pretty appetizer meatballs. Uh, the first one I made was a cheese stuffed bacon wrap unicorn meatloaf. At Easter time, I made unicorn armadillo eggs. So that's where you take you take the jalapeno pepper, stuff it with cream cheese, wrap it with meat, and then wrap it with bacon, and you bake it. So that meat, I made unicorn meat. So we had unicorn armadillo eggs. I have a lot of unicorn food, actually. If you just go to my YouTube channel and put in Colorful Keto with Dory Unicorn and hit search bar, if you like colorful food, we'll be best friends. If you don't like colorful food, you'll say, ew, Dory, ew. Everyone is half and half. Either they love colorful food and they're like, wow, that is so creative. Or they say, I love you, Dory, but I, I can't blue meatloaf. Like, love you, can't. <gasps> Oh, goodness. Well, you know, I technically didn't kill a unicorn. I fowed a unicorn, right? Like, that's not the same thing. There's no guilt in that. I am not cannibal. I just, you know, create with beautiful food coloring because life is fun. So, back to color, back to foods, flavors. So, for example, you can add just a regular flavoring extract to your coffee. Vanilla, cinnamon, you can do pumpkin spice. I have an awesome pumpkin spice. This one is cookies and cream. I have um, caramel, toffee, you name it, you can flavor it. So while we're poking in here and flavoring, why don't we make this one a salted caramel? I'll find out my caramel, and then we'll make a salted caramel coffee, because why not? I actually almost kind of feel like having the pumpkin spice, but yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice psycho pants on the way. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of flavoring extract and a little bit of sweetener. And then that will be a yummy pumpkin coffee. High fat coffee. Add a little drops of the flavor and a little bit of sweetener. You can use powdered sweetener, liquid sweetener, whatever you want or you can omit the sweetener all together. I don't usually add sweetener unless I add a flavoring extract because then it tastes like a dessert, like a fancy dessert coffee to me once you add the, add the flavor to it. And that's a quick and easy solution. Now, why do people do Bulletproof Coffee and when do you drink them? So Bulletproof Coffee is actually meant to be a meal replacement. So when you wake up in the morning, but you're not really, you're not ready for your first meal of the day, but you feel kind of a little bit peckish, especially when you're starting a new diet or a new way of eating, you're often hungry in the morning, but it's not time to eat. So you have your added fat coffee 
that will tide you through until about lunchtime and then you have your first meal of the day and that's how you easy start intermittent fasting you slowly push back your first meal of the day until you're eating all of your meals within an eight hour window easy peasy oh I never get to see you either I'm so glad so if you guys are curious um, usually I'm live on Monday and Tuesday at 1 p.m. Mountain on Clapper and on Instagram uh, we do motivational Monday on Mondays and then talk about it Tuesday but yesterday I wasn't feeling motivated to be motivating so we didn't some some days I'm super motivated and some days I'm not so much and I think we're all like that so when I'm not feeling my most motivational I skipped motivational Monday yesterday but normally <laughs> you can find me this time on Monday and at motivational Monday we will talk about whatever you need to stay on track either with your mental health or with your eating plan or whatever you happen to be struggling with staying motivated about it's kind of an open open floor topic which today is too even though we kind of talk about keto stuff on Tuesdays if you have other things you want to discuss we're open to that right like we we love everything we love bacon we love mental health we love just hanging out and having a good time together so whatever you guys want to talk about feel free to add any questions that you have in the comments and we will chit chat about it what am I cooking tonight okay so it is 1 30 in the afternoon which means I haven't decided what I'm making for dinner yet tonight <laughs> I can tell you uh, what we had for dinner the other night I made a really easy pulled chicken which is my favorite 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 and I just threw seven chicken breasts in my instant pot and I added some seasoning to it and then I shred the chicken and then everybody gets to put what sauce they want on it because some people like barbecue some people like hot at my house I have to have sugar-free sauces so I made a plain pulled chicken and then we had cabbage with it on the side butter cabbage and I made a Caesar salad to go with it and then the following night I made us a really nice chicken soup out of the leftover pulled chicken so I am a late preparer which is why you guys will love any of my recipes that you see anything I make takes 20 minutes or less and I don't ever really pre prepare anything I usually start thinking around six o'clock oh dang it I better better figure out something for supper tonight <laughs> So if you're like me and uh, you love to eat, hate to cook, then go check out my YouTube and I have a whole entire library called I Don't Want to Cook, But Everybody Can't Starve. And it has all my best quick, easy recipes from full meals to snacks and treats and just things that you can whip up in a flash because let's be honest we're all busy nobody has five hours to meal prep a nice dinner every night that's just not a thing that happens at least not at my house <laughs> not a thing that happens at my house so oh Deadpool how's it going long time no see buddy how's it going how's it going so we started out talking about bulletproof coffee and I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite quick easy snacks who's game for quick easy snacks one of my favorite things to make and it is so absolutely easy is cheese chips so all you need is parchment paper and cheese any melting cheese will work so that means anything except for processed cheese slices those are not real cheese we can establish that I'm pretty sure so we're gonna take some parchment paper and you definitely want this because it gets messy if you don't have and for today we're gonna use pizza mozzarella but any cheese any block cheese will work for this and we're gonna take about two ounces of cheese so four to six slices depending on how thick you turn this so you guys can both see while I cut. 
super easy. You can add any seasoning that you want to this as well. And seeing how it's taco about it Tuesday, why don't we make them taco chips just because why not? So we're going to lay it out on our parchment paper. And you're going to cover it in the microwave. When I say cover it, trust me, you definitely want to cover it in the microwave or you're going to make a big old gigantic mess. So cheese, parchment paper into the microwave. I'm going to turn it on for one minute. Then we're going to add our seasoning of choice and we're going to add it for one more minute. So let me grab out some seasoning. That one. We're going to use my fajita, I think. Fajita. I have too many spices, by the way, in case you didn't notice. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to spices. It makes my life happy. Who else is addicted to spices? Hands up. But they last forever, too, right? Like, keep them in your cupboards forever. I love you long time. Sika says she's addicted to spices. Is anybody on Instagram addicted to spices? <gasps> Josh! I did not forget about you. I didn't forget about you, Josh. I still love you on Instagram. If you want to whine, go whine to the people on Facebook. I never go live there anymore. <laughs> Someone actually commented on my Facebook post the other day. I miss you so much here on Facebook, Dory. I never go to Facebook anymore. I do still sometimes come to Instagram at least twice a week, dude. I'm here Mondays and Tuesdays, except for yesterday, because I didn't feel like it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of fajita seasoning to this. I'm gonna turn it back on for one more minute. And we're gonna have some yummy cheese chips. Boom. Just like that. And then you can make a quick, easy, high-fat dip if you want, or, ooh, maybe we should make, um, ooh, maybe we should make an egg salad to dip with it. I was, ooh, that pumpkin spice coffee, so yummy. I was actually thinking the other day about making an egg salad dip. Yum, yum, yum. So this one is a, a fajita one. This is one of my Epicure spices. But I like this one when I do any kind of taco flavoring. It, I know it's fajita, not taco, and I do know the difference, but I like it better. <laughs> Don't judge me. I like it better. I do have an extensive collection of Epicure as well, but they're my favorite spices because they don't have all of the carb fillers that we had talked about earlier when I was chatting about why I don't buy these things. So this one has only two grams of carbs and zero grams of sugar, one gram of fiber. So it's technically one net carb per teaspoon of this seasoning. Whereas if you look at a standard taco seasoning, they have a lot more carbs in them. Here's one that I have. This one would be similar because it's a burrito seasoning. And this one has, per one-eighth of a package, which is six grams, which is just a little bit more than a teaspoon by one-fifth of a teaspoon, so almost exactly equivalent. And this has four grams of carbs, zero grams of fiber, and two grams of sugar in the same amount. So I can have this, or I can have this and it doesn't have all the extra stuff in it also this has cornstarch in it is its very first ingredient so when you wonder why why does this only have two grams of carbs but this one has four grams it's because the first ingredient is cornstarch that's that's the why okay out come our cheesy chips 
going to get them a paper towel to set them on. And that's it. Done. I'm going to get rid of the garbage. And check it out. Are you ready? Are you ready? So crispy. Mm -mm -mm. And it only takes two minutes. Right? Two minutes to make a serving of cheese chips. To make a high fat dip. Or let's do the egg salad. Let's do a let's do a taco style egg salad. Why not? Why not? So I have a couple of pre hard boiled eggs on hand. So we can use that. I better put away my cheese too. Because I get everything all in the way. Oh, this one, Sika is a kangaroo with the little Joey in the pouch. Kangaroo with the pocket and the and the little Joey. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> I feel like the face could be a deer too, right? And and Sika asked if it was a llama, so I think it could be several things. But this one is a kangaroo. Kangaroo, hop, hop. Okay, so we're going to grab out the mayo. And what else do we need? Uh, a little bowl. And, ooh, we're going to get the sour relish. And I found some dill relish. Normal sweet relish has a lot of sugar in it. But dill relish doesn't have any sugar in it. So we're going to use some dill relish and some mayonnaise. So we'll start out with about a tablespoon of mayo. That's usually what I find is about right. And then we'll throw our egg in there. These are super handy. Like Super handy if you just want to do a quick deviled egg or egg salad or just a quick snack. Throw them in your lunch box if you're keto on the go. Super handy. Oh my goodness. Sass, it's been forever. Where have you been? Where have you been hiding? So we're going to mash up our egg in here with our mayo. And we're going to add some relish. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit of fajita seasoning. And then maybe a bit of green onion. What do you think? A little bit of fresh green onion. And then we'll make it a dip for our cheese chips. And this is a quick, easy, high-protein snack. It's not going to take you a really long time to prepare it. Right? Add a little bit of dill relish. And then we're going to add some of the fajita seasoning to make it more of a taco style egg dip. And I'm going to get us some fresh green onion. And then probably maybe another, well I don't know, I'm going to eat it with you guys so it doesn't really matter if it has a pretty bowl. If I was going to picture this, I would get a new bowl so that I could, you know, bowl it out nice, put on the green onions and make it look all pretty. But seeing how we're going to eat it together on live, I think I'll just fix up this bowl a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear my, my dog lapping in her water bowl like a cow, but that's a thing that's going on at my house right now. Because why wouldn't you do that thing? And why wouldn't you do it when mom was on live? Like, that's really the best time to be awesome. So I'm going to grab us some green onion. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of our seasoning on the top so it kind of looks almost like paprika. Plating makes all the difference. You know, you can eat the most bland, boring meal, but having it plated out pretty makes all the difference in the world. <coughs> 
I mean, really, that's why we spend the money to go to a restaurant, right? To have someone else prepare our plate and it looks so appetizing and beautiful when it comes to us. And you can do those things at home, too, just by taking an extra two seconds when you're plating your food so that you feel like you're having a real dining experience as opposed to missing out on things that you want. If you take that extra 30 seconds to make your plate look nice and feel like you're having a treat, then you don't feel like you're living in diet hell, right? Like you don't feel like every time you turn around, you're missing out on something or not getting to eat what you want to eat and it really is a very quick and easy solution so let me pop this stuff away and then we're gonna have some of our egg dip together okay who's ready for the egg dip on the cheese chips Right? So good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you guys want to see the dog? Come here, dog. Come say hi. You want to have a treat? You come say hi to your friends? Oh, good girl. Okay. Come over here where they can see you. Come here, my mom. Over here, right here. Come here. Oh, good girl. Very nice girl. Okay, take your treat and go. <laughs> She's a big old slobbery pit bull, so she will get all up in our business now. <gasps> she's she's had the milk bone now, so she'll be very, very happy. I'll tell you what, after we're done doing this live, I'll do a treat live with Kaya. And I'll hop on and I'll give Kaya some treats. And I'll let you guys just hang out with the dog for a little bit. That's a thing I used to do on TikTok all the time, but I don't do TikTok lives anymore. So let's do it later after this. We'll just hang out with the dog. Who wants to do that? Like we'll, we'll throw her toys. We'll give her some treats. She gets all whiny now because as soon as I turn on the camera, she's like, I get treats though, right? Like, okay, you had your treat. Go away. Go away. Go lay down. Way go. All the way. No, no, keep going. <laughs> She's going to just lay down right at my feet and look at me. Thanks, Sika. Actually, I won't blame you. It was, it was, uh, no, the dog is not keto. No, the dog is not keto. She is, um, we affectionately call her dumpster dog. Like, she will eat anything she can get a hold of. She will do that thing. She's terrible. Terrible. So I'll let you guys see another bite of our of our egg dip. I'm gonna have a couple more bites and then we'll see if there's anything else we want to talk about. Amanda! Hello, Amanda. Amanda just joined us on Clapper. She is my Potter friend, and on Instagram and on Clapper, she's the same. Karamic S L U. K E R Amic S L U. It's like ceramic with a K. And she's awesome. She does beach lives and she does live pottery wheel spinning awesome things. And I love her. And she calls me Dory Dory Jackanory, which is hilarious. It makes me laugh every single time. Amanda, we're having uh, fajita taco cheese chips with an egg, egg salad dip, which we also put fajita seasoning in. Because it's Taco Tuesday. So why not eat fajitas? <laughs> yes, yes, we are live on Clapper and we are live on Instagram right now. We're on both. So that I could save the Instagram one. I swear if Clapper had a save function, I, I'd bitch out on you too, Instagram. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, so I have yet again been requested keto edible recipes. So let's do it. We'll do it. I'll start working on it next week and let's do it. I, I have access to um, 
some leaf and some shake and stuff to do that. So let's let's do it. First thing we have to learn is a uh, can of butter or can of ghee. And then from there, we'll learn how to make and bake stuffs. I have a few friends who've suggested to me a couple good recipes that I should try out to make can of butter or can of ghee. And I have a big thing of ghee. So stay tuned, Josh. First, we're going to learn how to make can of ghee. And then I'll teach you how to make edibles with it. Shh, don't tell everyone. <laughs> this is a thing people have been asking me for for probably about three years. And now it's like totally legal everywhere in Canada. So I think I might not get in trouble. I still might get in trouble on Instagram. Clapper, I think Clapper will allow me to do edible recipes. I'm not entirely sure about Instagram. We might have to phrase it fun, Josh. Like we may have to think of a fun way to herb of choice kind of recipes, I think. Herb of choice. Oh, uh, have you ever seen the episodes of Weeds? In the first season, at the end on the discs, they have a whole entire recipe book. Everything from wake and bake scrambled eggs to dessert dishes. So, I mean, that's a thing if you're curious about that. That's totally a thing. None of their things would be keto, but I could ketofy any of them for you too, though. So, there's that. Right. <laughs> Stoner Dory. Instagram doesn't know that, Josh. <laughs> Clapper knows all too well. They're fine. Clapper is very 420 friendly, by the way, just saying. I'm just saying. Although, one of my friends mentioned to me just the other day, we were talking about how I always seem to be in the U.S. algorithm. I never seem to be able to find enough Canadian people on any app. She suggested if I started posting more 420 content and recipes for that, that a lot of the Canadians that she sees on Instagram, she finds them with 420 posts. So who knows? I guess a new direction. <laughs> a new and fun direction. Why not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, as soon as you make the can of butter, you can do anything with it after that. Once we make that to begin with, and I do have a whole big thing, a half a container still of ghee. So I think we can make can of ghee, and then from that, we can make pancakes and muffins and donuts and, oh, I don't know, cupcakes. Um, you could use that butter to fry your eggs and your bacon, and we can do like a a candied can of bacon, something like that. We can do lots of cool stuff. So let me do a little bit more research. I've actually got three different creation methods in mind. So I want to do a little bit more research and I want to see which method of creating the butter or ghee is going to be most effective. So I'm going to spend a few days doing experiments at home. And then once I decide which process I like best, then I will make a video for you guys or do it as a live and then we'll start from there because once we have the ghee, we can make all kinds of yummies that don't have any sugar in them. That's my issue with any edibles is they always either have a lot of carbs or they have a lot of sugar. So it is, it is a thing people have asked me for. It is a thing I've been dragging my feet on doing because it's not legal everywhere in the States and I don't because I post on multiple social media platforms that post all over the world, I just don't want to, I don't want to lose my platform. That's the bottom line. <laughs> That's, that really is the bottom line. That's the only reason why I haven't made those kind of recipes already for you guys is because I'm, I'm worried about losing the platform that I've spent so long building. So give me a little bit of time to figure out how we're going to slide it out on the other platform so Dory doesn't get in trouble. <laughs> I believe in Canada it is implied. I feel that it is that it is implied. So we shall see. We're going to get on that. I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. And if you have any other quick questions that you want me to answer, fire them in the comments and we'll get to them next week if we don't get a chance to come around. I know, isn't that the easiest snack ever? Like, 
easy snacks. Oh, and Amanda's talking about making the, the can of butter. Yes. Oh, yes. Amanda makes an amazing salted toffee sauce that is not keto, but I could make a keto version of it too. It's all about the flavor. I, I promise you guys, if there's anything that you want or that you love or that you like, there is a way to make a keto version of it. Amanda and I often come around the whole fruit discussion because Amanda lives in St. Lucia where she has a lot of fruit. Dory doesn't eat a lot of fruit. That's why we were talking about my fruit flavoring extracts. So when I figure out a less dirty way to say, hey, come check out my magical box. <laughs> well, we'll do a video about my flavor box and all of the amazing creations that I'm able to make by having access to flavoring extracts. That is really the secret for me to not miss any of the flavors that I want or that I love is to use the flavoring extract and then I can create what I want. Oh, Amanda has come to see us on the Instagram side. We're cooler on Clapper. I don't even know why you're over on the Instagram side. Look at how much better the lighting is on Clapper. Like, I look so much prettier on Clapper. I'm just saying, like, if you want a thirst trap on me, go watch me on Clapper instead. I look way prettier. Oh, you're ridiculous, Dory. Yes. Yes. That's... <laughs> Oh, Lulu, what up, girl? Lulu, we were just talking about um, requests for Keto 420 recipes for edibles. So we're going to start working on some of that. And you just missed out. We made, um, we made some cheese nacho chips, cheese taco chips, and we made an egg salad, a fajita taco egg salad to dip it in for crunchy snacks today because they only take two minutes to make so quick so easy so yummy and also we made a pumpkin spice bulletproof coffee on today's live so yummy and you can see even after it sits it's got the nice foam on it instead of having the fat bubbles just float around whip it whipping it is the answer <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a awesome day. We're going to turn back on our song because, I mean, we can't leave Taco Tuesday without, you know, dancing like Jack Holes. Oh, yay, cookie. Stop making me want all the things. I know, right? I don't have any money, Dory. Don't make me want all the things. Do you know what? On the plus side, I also, psst, I'm a cheap bitch, too. So... <laughs> If you ever want like money saving tips, oh my god, I got you. Um, keto on a dime, diva on a dime, shoestring budget. I got you. These are all things that I I know very well and I know how to do really good. Should we do that next Tuesday? Next Tuesday, should we talk about penny pinching keto? How you can start and do it on a budget? I've actually put together several beginner keto kits and I can tell you everything you need to get started for a hundred bucks. So your regular groceries that you would have within your hundred dollar budget to get you on the go and started. I think that might be a fun, fun chat for next week. <laughs> Money saving tips. Have 11 guinea pigs, right? <laughs> don't don't have a bunch of guinea pigs. Don't have a bunch of animals. That is a good money-saving tip. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and Amanda says don't have an old dog. Yeah, don't have a pit bull. They eat you out of house and home, literally. Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love you guys. Let's get our song back because, of course, we can't. I mean, it's dancey time. Let's be honest. That's, that's why you come here. You don't come here to talk to me about keto. You come so that we can dance together to the taco song. I, I still need to set up a challenge for this, by the way, because it starts at 100 speed and then goes to 1,000. So I do feel like we need to have a taco challenge, a reigning taco dance challenge. And right now we're about to hit 400 speed, so it'll give you kind of like a gauge of, and I'm going to move all my things so that Dory doesn't drop her food.
food on the floor. Great. Smartly. Are we ready? Right? This is why you come. <sighs> oh! Knock it over the fridge. <sighs> Love you guys! And I'll see you next Taco Bad Tuesday. Love you guys!